Hi everyone. So today I am going to be working on those envelopes that I promised you a couple of days ago for the Dragonfly note cards that we made. So let's get right to it. All right. This card is three and a half by five inches. Okay, so if we were going to use this piece of cardstock to make an envelope, we could do this a number of ways. We could measure with this cardstock a card that would fit here. This would fold, this would fold, fold and then you can make a, t um, a closure, okay? Or we could measure this way. If we do it this way, we would need something that is seven inches long, so you could open your card for that measurement so that it would cover the front and the back of the card, and then also have a closure. So you could do something along these lines, right? And then if you cut this out, you would want something to fold over to make sure nothing falls out the sides, right? And then like that. So now your card would fit in this envelope. very easily once you cut this out and then you would fold on these lines right and then you would use glue here once you folded this up add glue to close it off put your card in and then use a little glue here or tape or sticker to fold over and close the envelope. Now, if you have access to an envelope punch board like this, you'd be able to make an envelope to fit any size card that you can make. So the card that we are making, the card we made, sorry, is three and a half by five. So we're going to go down the side here and find three and a half by five, which is right here. And then, so the paper size we need is seven and a quarter by seven and a quarter. So putting this to the side, grabbing my trusty paper trimmer. I'm going to put my piece of paper in here and cut this down to seven and a quarter. By seven and a quarter. And we're going to bring the envelope punch board back. So now the punch board is made from We Are Memory Keepers. I bought this one at Stampin' Up, um, but you can get these at um, Hobby Lobby and Michael's, Joann's, different craft stores all over the place. You just got to look for the envelope punch board. So what you do, okay, so we come back down here to three and a half by five, and it says we're going to score at three inches, one eighth. Okay, so we're gonna put our paper up here, and we're gonna go across and line up the paper at three inches and one eighth. Now the punch board comes with um, a stylus of its own, 
And what you do is you line it up. You're going to punch. And then you're going to put your stylus in and you're going to score down the line. Okay. Now you're going to turn this counterclockwise. And you're going to line up that score line with this little um, finger that's poking out there. You're going to punch. And then you're going to use the score again. And you're just going to continue doing this for all four sides. Punch. And score. Lining up the score line. Punch. And score. So now you have this shape for your envelope. Okay. Now one thing that's handy with the punch board is that you can also round your ends by putting the points up here and punching it again, which rounds the corners. I'm going to redo the first one. So they're more rounded instead of pointy. So we are done with this. And that just goes in there for safekeeping so it doesn't get lost. And this is the little bit of garbage that we have from the punch board. So with this one, you're going to fold on the lines. Just like that. And you can see that there is plenty of room in there for our card. You can put the insides in, and then you're going to fold up the bottom. You can use a little bit of glue. Um, okay, and then you're going to fold down the top. I can put a sticker or whatever you want on there as a sealer, or you can use a little bit more glue um, to make sure it stays closed and then address it. So this is the way that you would make an envelope with the envelope punch board. It is very handy and I have made envelopes for multitudes of different things. Um, I did <laughs> I did a scavenger hunt for Charles one Christmas with magic cards and the envelopes were just the size of a playing card and one set of cards went in each envelope and Charles had to go around the house and find them but it was fun and I made maybe 20 little envelopes and the punch board helped quite a bit with that because it was so easy to make a bunch of envelopes like this. All right so that's how you make envelopes for different size cards. Well, at least for the three and a half by five that we made the other day. So this was a really quick class or craft, I guess, uh, since we were talking about envelopes. You could do, you could make the envelope the same way if you didn't have an envelope uh, punch board like I do that tells you what the size is. You could go on to Google and say, what size paper do I need to make an envelope for this card size? And it would tell you what size paper to cut. And then you could do the fold, the four corners in to make that envelope. Uh, so you've got lots of options for envelopes in that case. So we've made our envelopes for today and uh, tomorrow, we're going to do something else. I'm not sure exactly what yet, but when tomorrow comes, there will be a craft. So for now, thanks for hanging out with me, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye!